An ARM is just a fixed rate mortgage that adjusts after a certain time frame. So you may have seen examples like a 5-1, 7-1, 10-1, or even a 5-5. Let's break down how that works. So on a 5-1, the loan is fixed for the first five years of the loan. Then it adjusts every year, which is the one after that time frame. And so the rate is based on the benchmark rate plus some sort of ARM margin for the lender. And that benchmark rate is based on different things, but typically your lender uses what's called the LIBOR index, which stands for the London Interbank Offer Rate. So why would anybody do an ARM? Well, the allure of the ARM is the initial rate, which is known as the teaser rate. So let's say rates right now are 6.000%. For an ARM, your initial rate is going to be below the market rate. If not, there's really no reason to do ARM in the first place. So your rate may be like a 5.875 or 5.750. So it's like, okay, so let me take this rate that's a little bit lower than the market because I'm probably going to only be in this home for a short amount of time. So let's say maybe seven years, I'll take a 7-1 ARM because I'm going to get this low rate and then I'm going to sell the home before the ARM actually adjusts. And the arm will adjust. So I talked about that initial LIBOR index plus a margin for the lender. So I'll give an example. So let's say based on the LIBOR, the rate is 4%. The lender may have like a 2% margin. So your rate will now be 6%. And let's say a year later when it adjusts again, the LIBOR goes down to 3 the margin still stays the same as two. So now your rate is 5%. And so it goes up, it goes down. Typically, it seems like arms always go up for whatever reason, because you got to think about it. The lender wants to make money. So it's typically a scenario set up where the lender's going to win. That's a quick overview of an arm. Check out more videos.